Morning. So a friend of mine uh, recently had some pine trees cut down and uh, I told him uh, before his lawn reno, he might want to check the pH because I thought pine trees lowered the pH of the soil. So I'm gonna let him borrow um, a portable pH tester that I have. And uh, I figured I'd show you show you all how to how to operate this machine and uh, let's see what we what we get hang on Okay, so we're in my my backyard right now, and uh, what you're seeing here is a similar situation. Uh, in the fall, we had a bunch of Leyland cypress taken down for the neighborhood, and you can see the green grass here. That is winter rye, and some fine fescue that they put down for the fall. So this will this will be another topic that I cover at some point. But I think there's a similar situation here because Leylands, of course, are also pines. So let's see what we get for a pH in this area, see if there's any adjustments that are, that are necessary. All right, so this is the, uh, this is the Kelway soil tester here. Um, I bought this a while back. I don't use it that much, so I'm not sure that, that I would go out and buy one, but uh, if I were you, but I'll leave the link in the show notes. But the first thing you do before you test is you need to clean these, these contacts off. So what the, what the gauge is doing is measuring electrical resistance within the soil to, to determine pH of the soil. Uh, so first thing, clean the contacts off, um, as I'm doing here. Get the get the big stuff off with a paper towel, and then you want to follow with this. Uh, it's very fine sandpaper polishing, polishing those contacts off. Okay. All right, so also you need to have some soil that's slightly moist. And what I'm gonna do is just with a screwdriver here, I'm gonna make a hole that is similar in size to the, to the gauge itself, or cone shape type. See, it's not very, not very moist at all right here. So hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna relocate, relocate here and get a get a moist spot where my sprinkler hit. All right, so I relocated. I've I've made a hole that's roughly the size of this. You want it to to fit tightly when when it goes in there when you insert it. So don't make it too big. All right, so we're just gonna put it in there. Give it a little push there. And so what we need to do is just to wait, wait a few minutes for this to settle out. And uh, so while we're waiting here, I'll just tell you a little bit about why pH is important. Uh, one of the things about pH is that there's a sweet zone, sweet spot for, for turf, uh, and it's a little bit different for each turf type, uh, but most turfs want it slightly acidic. So neutral is seven, anything below seven is acidic. And so, um, at least for Bermuda, it's anywhere from six to 6.5 that you want. 
So um, the reason for that is that if you get a very acidic soil, it's going to be, it's really going to be toxic to the turf. But if you're in the sweet spot, you get um, the best uptake of, of nutrients. So when you put down fertilizer, you're being, it'll be uh, very efficient in the uptake. But if your pH is off, you're going to be wasting your money because the nutrients aren't being absorbed. So let's see what we got here. Looks like we are slightly be below seven. So a 6.8. So in this case, we're going to have to um, lower the pH. Um, let's take a let's take a sample at another another spot. Okay, so I've I've made another hole for our second sample site here. Gonna clean and polish the pads. Okay, let's let's put it in here. See what we get here. You'll see a cheaper version, definitely a less accurate version of this. It's a, a two prong uh, meter. You'll see those in the big big box stores. Don't buy those there they are not accurate at all I'm not sure if I would buy one at all I mean even even one like this I'm not sure if I'd buy one uh, but you can see this one's this one's hanging around 6.8 or so it's coming down a little bit So I'm not sure if I would adjust this pH at all, and certainly uh, I did. I didn't mention this, but the pH associated with, or a low pH associated with pine trees, is is a myth. I read. So it is true that the pine needles are very low pH in the two to three range, but after they, after the microbes uh, start breaking down those, those needles, the pH is neutralized. So that is indeed a myth, and it looks like it's true here too, because these, I had, you know, just six months ago, Leyland's right in this area. So likely the myth is associated with with just the 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 root structure of the of the pine trees themselves not not allowing grass to grow in the immediate vicinity just because of that that um, that root structure that's right near the surface so it is not the low pH that is causing that problem okay that's uh, that's it for today Thomas with Thomas Turf Tips. Hope you learned something. Talk to you later.